Well, Virginia's lawmakers led a bipartisan fight to keep the Navy from moving a local carrier to Florida, and today we learned the Navy has stopped funding that project, at least for now. Then on your side, Art Khan has been working this story all day. Art? Well, Tom, up until today, the Navy has maintained its commitment to move a nuclear carrier to Mayport by 2019, saying it was a matter of strategic displacement, displacement and national security. The budget released for 2013 has no funding in it for Mayport, which means the project is on hold for now. The decision to omit funds for a carrier facility in Mayport means that the East Coast carriers will remain home ported in Norfolk until at least the end of this decade. As I look at the total uh, plan that the Navy has put forth, uh, Hampton Roads has come out very, very well. What we have gotten from the Navy uh, now is a projection into the year 2020 that shows that they are planning to keep five aircraft carriers in Norfolk. I think this is a good day. The official position of the Navy will continue to be that they think that it needs to be done for strategic reasons, but they don't plan any time in the near future to put any dollars in to do it. Fourth District Congressman Randy Forbes is a member of the House Armed Services Committee and says while the latest decision is a victory for Hampton Roads, the region can ill afford to lower its guard in this fight. It's something we can't go to sleep on if we go to sleep tonight, they'll be knocking at our door tomorrow trying to get that carrier. There's no question about that. Florida Congressman Ander Crenshaw would agree with his colleague from Virginia on that point. In a statement released to 10 on your side Monday, Crenshaw says, my fight is for all parts of the Mayport equation, including the ships needed in the basin today and the carrier of tomorrow. I don't think that those of us who are responsible for national defense should fall into the trap of trying to characterize this as a, a fight between Virginia and Florida. Certainly, Florida did not walk away from the budget table empty-handed. The Navy plans to send two additional destroyers, three additional patrol crafts, and eight littoral combat ships to Mayport. Mayport will also get a big deck amphibious ship along with two support ships. If they get those ships, they would come from Hampton Roads. So we're going to continue to have a battle on our hand. It's important to remember also that the Navy has already decided to move another carrier to San Diego, and the Enterprise has one final deployment before it's decommissioned, so there will be challenges ahead for Hampton Roads. Art Khan, 10 on your side. Local business owners were happy to hear that a local carrier won't be leaving. Moody Seabag, too, specializes in memory boxes, shadow boxes, mounting and engraving. Moody says that her business would have taken a big hit with a carrier move. In addition to the 5,000 sailors and a carrier, Moody a says that there are many more family easy. members. Our biggest client is the military, so if we lost any of the military, I don't know what we'd do. Moody is a Navy retiree. She says that her clients keep her close to the Navy community and she works with other local businesses for all of their vending needs.